Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in honor of Infinity War coming out this week, I'm going to count down five of my least favorite MCU movies. Let's jump right into it. First on my list is Avengers 2. I felt it was kind of a rehash of Avengers 1. Uh, the villain was kind of weak, just kind of world domination. Uh, Thor didn't really do anything, and most importantly, we didn't really get anything for Spider-Man, mm. which a lot of people were expecting Spider-Man to be there. I was expecting Spider-Man to be there. I think most people were. In a, even in Iron Man 2, we got a little bit of Spider-Man. Anyway, that's number one. Number two, Civil War. And I know this is kind of iffy. A lot of people like Civil War, but for me, personally... Didn't like it that much. We got uh, we got these Avengers that fighting one another, which doesn't really make any sense because heroes are heroes. They don't fight other heroes. Heroes fight bad guys, and also it kind of ties into Avengers too, which I don't really like. But uh, most importantly, Spider Man. He was in it. But he didn't have much screen time. I wanted to see more mm. Spider Man. I wanted to see what Tom Holland can bring to the table. Number three, Spider Man Homecoming. Now I know what you guys are thinking. How can I not like Spider Man Homecoming? Well, I'll tell you why. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming is about Spider-Man, which I was really excited to see, and we saw a little bit of him in Civil War, but I didn't like that he was, like, in school, you know what I mean? Like, Spider-Man is supposed to be, like, Spider-Man, not really, like, Spider-Boy, whatever. I didn't like that it was funny, I didn't like that he learned anything, Spider-Man's supposed to be kind of like an iconic hero, he's supposed to know what to do, he's supposed to, like... Like, I didn't like that Iron Man was in it so much. I didn't really like that Iron Man was in it at all. Uh, this is a Spider-Man movie. I kind of like my Spider-Man movies to be, like, kind of like The Amazing Spider-Man 2, where it was kind of just only Spider-Man. It was, like, really cool and stuff. But, yeah, that's number three, Spider-Man Homecoming. Number four, Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. What? How can you hate Spider-Man 2? Well, I'll tell you. Spider-Man 2 is the worst Spider-Man movie ever. I mean, Spider-Man would never quit being Spider-Man. And all the talking, blah, 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 blah. Boring. Who wants to see Spider-Man talk and quit being Spider-Man? Not me. I just want to see him shoot some webs and kiss some girls and be Spider-Man. Kind of like in Spider-Man 3 where he became Black Spider-Man and he told that bag like, rent guy, like, I'll pay for the rent when you fix the damn door. That's the Spider-Man I want to see. I don't want to see crying Spider-Man who quits being Spider-Man. Real Spider-Man would never quit being Spider-Man. Let me see. Do I have five yet? Oh, no. So number five, I know it's not out yet, but... It's Spider-Man Homecoming 2. I kind of made a poster here. You guys want to see it. It's, uh, I, I'm not really an artist or anything, but I like to think it's pretty cool. But yeah, Homecoming 2, I already hate it because at the end of Homecoming 1, we saw that uh, MJ is not, has not, does not have red hair. And honestly, I don't care how pretty Zendaya might be, I, uh, MJ has to have red hair. You know what I mean? And I don't like that. And also, I don't really like that. It's probably going to be funny, just like this one. And I don't know. That's just my take on it, guys. Uh, I'm really excited to see Infinity War. Tell me what you guys think in the comments about this video. Tell me if I should do more. Maybe talk about, like, the DC movies. Like, none of them really have, like... Like, none of them have, like, the Flash in it. But, like, whatever. It's fine. Uh, anyways, uh, you know what to do. Uh, this has been my channel. And peace out. Ha <laughs> ha.